Hey guys, as promised, I am back with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation Tutorial. Um, this is a full coverage foundation look. So don't be alarmed by the amount of makeup that you're going to see me put on right now. And there is my resting bitch face. Okay, so I'm showing you my hair. This is not a hair tutorial, but this is how I wear my hair most of the time. This is a protective style that I've been doing for like two years. That's a separate video. Anywho, first thing I'm starting with is the new MAC charcoal spray, which I love. I'll be using a lot of that, by the way. Um, so I am mixing the Estee Lauder Double Wear. My shade is Sandalwood. Mixing it with the Advanced Night Repair. Taking my nose ring out there. Don't mind me. Um, I'm mixing it with the Advanced Night Repair. So it could be more dewy. It is a very matte foundation. I normally don't care for matte foundations. This is the one exception, though, that I do make. So I'm putting it on my nose there, and that is with the MAC 170 brush. Um, I don't mix it with anything when I put it on my nose, only because I want my nose to be the mattest part of my face. Okay, so now I'm mixing the two together and putting it all over. This is just layer one, by the way. Um, it dries really fast, so you do have to work with it fast. The video is sped up, but um, you do want to work fast with it. Okay, next I'm spraying my sponge with the charcoal spray. Um, like I said, this is a very matte foundation, so you're going to see me using that spray a lot. I'm using my iPhone as a microphone with my headphones, so I hope this sounds okay. Okay, I'm going in with my Real Technique sponge, blending it in. Okay, layer number two. <laughs> and again, um, this is a full coverage foundation tutorial. You definitely don't have to use as much as I did. This is something I would normally do for work or like a long day. But again, you don't have to use this much. You can really do one layer of this and call it a day. Make sure to get those edges. I kind of like to get my ears too because my ears are a little bit darker than my face. So I like to put a little bit on there. So now I'm using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Slash Concealer. Again, even this is not necessary because the double wear is so full coverage. But I love this stuff. So I, I use this all the time. Blend, blend, blend. You can never blend too much. Going in with the spray again. Okay, next, um, Shape Tape Concealer. I believe the color is tan. It's extremely light, as you can see, which is why I'm not... Um, using a ton well I kind of did use a ton but that is the LA girl concealer I believe that is the fawn shade using that to highlight my nose and forehead and cupid's bow I don't like to highlight my nose all the way from the top to the bottom because I feel like it makes my nose look bigger for some odd reason. Um, so now I'm using the Black Opal Foundation Stick. I forget the name. It's the darkest shade to contour with. And again, these steps are not necessary. You could do just the foundation and call it a day. Okay, totally forgot to mention the brushes that I'm using. That one, I don't even know where that's from, actually. No idea. Okay. 
again with the Real Technique sponge. Again, blending can never do too much. And that is still the black opal contour stick. Well, it's the foundation stick, but I used the contour, so. I'm going in and blending with the MAC 170 brush, which I also used to apply the foundation all over. I can't really say enough good things about this foundation. It's by far one of the best foundations that I've ever used. Okay, so now I'm going in with the Sasha Buttercup under my eyes. I used to use the Ben Nye. Um, the Ben Nye is cool too, but I prefer this one now. Um, I also do not bake. I don't see the point of it. Also, I find the longer the powder stays on my face, the ashier it kind of looks after. So I don't see a reason for that. That's just my personal preference though. So I put it on and I sweep it off right away. And I have two of those sponges. So one I use for liquids and creams, and then the one, and then I use the other for the powder. Wiping it away. Even just having it on for that little bit of time, I, my face kind of looked a little flat. So um, next you're going to see me going with, I believe, next up is the MAC Mineralized Powder in Deep Darkest to kind of bring a little warmth back to my face yes I was right um I love these powders I have them in several different colors I have a shade I use all over a shade I use to kind of contour with the shade I use under my eyes love this powder it's like silk now I use the deep darkest all over I'm kind of using it now to contour with I guess or not necessarily contour with, but kind of bring warmth to my face, but I use it, um, I guess you could say, in a more concentrated way, like a more compact brush to add warmth, and then I'll use it all over with like a big, uh, a bigger fluffy brush. That brush, um, God, what is, I don't even know that freaking brush number, so sorry. Sorry that I'm not listing the brush numbers, but I mean, you can see kind of the shapes of what I'm using. So of course, they don't, you don't have to use the exact brushes I use. The shapes is really what's important. And again, I'm still using the powder, the um, Deep Darkest powder on that 217 brush, MAC 217 brush. Majority of these products are MAC unless I state otherwise. Going in again with the spray, and that's it. Done. Super full coverage, lasts all day long. To say I'm obsessed with this foundation will be an understatement. Um, I will do another video just showing you how to wear it in a more natural way, but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I do have a natural hair tutorial coming up, so please watch that. I'm just going in uh, blending again with the Real Technique sponge, and that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. 